Akasun's honest reactions. Akasun, hey, so this one's been uh, requested forever. I don't know if it's because I live here in Japan, home of the otaku, or just because it's really funny, or whatever the case. But I've been avoiding it for a long time here because somewhere along the line of all this uh, controversy or whatever, uh, TV Filthy Frank's uh, videos, his name has been brought up in uh, the fact that he wasn't very fond of reactions or reactors, um, so I left it alone. But it's been a few months now and I see that many, many reactions to this video has been up and um, apparently, you know, Filthy Frank hasn't done anything about it. So, I don't know. Maybe it was misinterpreted. I don't. I don't know, but, um, you know, I try to pride myself on the fact that 99.9% .9 of these videos, uh, reactions that I do, are done with uh, the approval and consent or requested by the original content creator. This will be that 0.1%. And, uh, of course, uh, Filthy Frank, if, you're, uh, if there's a problem with it, with this particular video, because I've tried to reach out, Twitter... Um, I'll, uh, you know, I'll send you a direct business email as well, just to be cool. Um, I'll send an email before this video goes out as well. And if there's a problem, I will take it down immediately. It's okay. Okay? All right. Let's get into this. The long-awaited, the long-requested weeaboos. Here we go. よくそ。よくそ。フィルシーファクショエ。今日はすごい面白いもの教えてやるよ。あ、いいっすね。フィルシーファクショエ。今日はすごい面白いもの教えてやるよ。あ、いいっすね。フィルシーファクショエ。今
type it on the keyboard. Tokyo really Ghoul. Fast. You should have showed me. Do you know that? There's a pigeon outside my window. Fuck out. Also, the worst <laughs> part is you think you know all about Japan after watching, like, what, six anime series. What if you believe that schoolgirls have eyes this big? Yep. You believe that everyone holds a fucking katana on the trains? Nobody practices jutsus in the corner, and nobody talks like this. <laughs> yeah, nobody talks. Masturbating to animated 13 year old girls doesn't make you Japanese. It just makes you a borderline pedophile. And also, guys, <laughs> as much as I wish it was true, not all Asian girls sound like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely woke my neighbors up. <laughs> Shit, mom. My neighbors heard that, for sure. As an outsider, you're literally praising one of the most xenophobic cultures that exists today. Irony! What you're doing would be true. like a Japanese That's person true. doing this, wearing a cowboy hat and boots, swinging a rope around, and going, yeah! Hello, my name is Cowboy Tanaka. A lot of people get defensive about this. Look, I'm always getting harassed by everybody to make fun of disease, you know, race, you know, black people, Jews, like everyone's like, yeah, do it, do it, do it. But as soon as I even touch anime, oh, whoa, whoa, too far, everybody, yo, everyone, like Frank, relax. You can make fun of every, anything but anime. Like, it's the Filthy Frank Show. Make up your fucking mind, bro. Like over here at the Filthy Frank Show, we support prejudice equality. Everyone gets shit. What do you call a white girl that can run faster than her brothers? A redneck virgin. See, look, everyone gets shit here. You yeah, take that, white people. Follow your dreams, son. But still, I can't, I can't help but feel scared. I knew this day would come. <laughs> Safari Man. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, everyone has to look like an anime character, Safari Man. <laughs> this Japanese is actually big really good. Big guy. Uh, you remember the training? Quick, to the Weaver Protection Chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody give it a pussy, please? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, shit. It's spreading. The disease is spreading. <laughs> he said it hurts. Itai. And Yamate means no, stop it. It's no use. We Blue Jones is too strong. That's it. I know exactly what I need to do. A shower. Fuck you, Blue Jones. I love family guy. Yeah. Reality show. Yeah. Reality show. This looks like LARPing though. I feel so bad for that guy.
cartoons. Ooh. I'm a weeaboo. I live in my mom's house. I'm like 32. <laughs> I collect swords and throwing stars. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Sticks and stones may break my bones, <laughs> but I will always be one step ahead of uh, you. That? Inuasha. God, I met a dude like that once. The manga. <laughs> You're such a fucking pleb. Are you from Japanese, bro? I haven't showered in like 16 weeks. All my friends... Missy, what happened? Ah, that dude, he fucked his pillow or something. Jet, right? Japanese. Yes, I'm a weeaboo. Yes, I'm a weeaboo. Yes, I'm a weeaboo. Yowie pads. My company made that. That's. Oh my god. A filthy weeaboo. No, we're talking so overrated. A dirty weeaboo. You want to see my guitar collection? A fucking weeaboo. I'm learning Japanese. I'm almost out of stuff. Disgusting weeaboo. So I'm like basically Japanese now. What's the deal with that? Is that his dick or what? Like, or his stomach? I don't get it. Orotsuki Doji? Rosetta Stone. Anyways, point is, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. Just don't bring that shit near me. I'm a fucking hustler. I'm gonna say it again, guys. I have nothing against anime. I have nothing against any of that shit. Everything I just said could be applied to every, any kind of other obsession. True. But just take yeah. it easy, man. Yeah. Also, if you let a 52-year-old man in glasses and a dirty shirt tell you what to do with your life, that's, pre that's pretty fucking sad. But not as sad as a fucking weeaboo. Slam down our bastards on our piece. Nobody, it's filthy nobody break, does that. <laughs> it's filthy break, piss. Let's get some pussy tonight. <laughs> I'm kind of glad. So finally, finally, uh, I watched it. A very interesting. Um, <laughs> he was, uh, you know, for the most part, he was very accurate. Cause I'll tell you guys a little story about myself. Uh, about thirteen years ago. Thirteen. Yeah, about thirteen years ago, I was actually working in an anime store um, in Los Los Angeles. Um, I worked at uh, a few anime stores actually. I worked at one in West LA, and then after that, I worked in one in Echo Park um, or Glendale or something like that. And um, I saw many different cultures. And I ironically, ironically, I met Robert Downey Jr. in uh, this store because uh, West Los Angeles, West Hollywood. Uh, anybody know the not the Fox Hills Mall, but the Culver. Uh, the fuck was that the name met Westfield Shopping Center I think that's what the name of the mall it was on Pico okay so I worked there and it was kind of interesting because I actually uh, it's a kind of rich area or whatever I ran into Robert Downey Jr. DMX which was even more interesting um, and I was kind of like I was the movie expert basically even back then I was a uh, pretty harsh and critiquing lots of stuff and I remember I'll tell you my story uh, well, well I'll try to make this one short um, DMX's cousin was actually really big on Dragon Ball uh, and all this other stuff and so he would come in and DMX came in and I just showed him like the different titles and it was very interesting like the kind of different cultures like DMX and there is squad that came in they were all interested in like the anime, the Dragon Ball stuff right the fighting but then Robert Downey Jr. came in um, and I feel bad saying this but he did smell like alcohol a lot um, this is I think at this time this was before Iron Man actually and um, he came in with his I believe it was his son um, anyway, he was a uh, he was actually really cool. Like just talking to me, like he wanted to know what animes were good. So at that time, 
Uh, I, I told them, you know, there were always the basics, Akira, Ninja Scroll, Ghost in the Shell. These were like the three Godfather type, uh, the gateway animes, right? Outside of Dragon Ball. Um, and so, but, but the one that I really recommended to him, if you just wanted a more like, full, more so philosophical, uh, philosophical story was this one called Metropolis. And I know most of you guys don't even know what that is, but it was actually really good. Metropolis perfect blue so I recommended some of those and I believe if I remember correctly he bought them but uh, the weeaboos themselves my particular store I didn't actually have that big of a problem like I had people that were really into anime um, but it wasn't as bad as my best friend who actually worked in um, more outside area um, month off the off the ten, off the ten freeway. Uh, it was called fucking like a real deep pass. Uh, uh, a zoo, uh, Uza or um, Riverside. It was basically like Riverside. I forget what it was called, but it, uh, he worked in a store, and like every day he was just so burnt out and shit because like these weeaboos would come in and they just had nothing better to do and so this this point I understand when you're living in an area like a really they used to call it the um, uh, the armpit of California or something like that which was like nothing to do so the uh, anime store was the only thing you could do play Yu-Gi-Oh cards all day he used to complain about that all the time with the weeaboos coming in um, and people trying to study Japanese, and uh, he was considered like a god because he had like all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and had the best selections. It was really strange sometimes, very strange with the pillows and all that other stuff. But you know, I admit, like uh, my company, which also owned the store, we. Um, we made the, I don't know if it was my idea with the Yaoi pads, I don't think so, but I, uh, the Yaoi, the Yaoi, uh, uh, pads, the, what do you, whatever you call them, but, uh, I will tell you guys about that Yaoi stick thing, so I went to Comic Con when I, I used to have to work Comic Con all the time, and, <laughs> You guys are going to like this story a bit. Because back then it wasn't so bad. When you were mixing anime with comic book stuff, I met Gene Simmons. Talked to him a bit. His son is a big uh, anime fan. I met Brian Singer, actually. Um, and I was like, hey, Brian, Singer! And he turned around. He was doing Man of Steel at the time. And I was just like, and, um, uh, Superman Returns. And I was like, eh, hey, X-Men. And he was just like, like that. I was like, oh, shit! Got a thumbs up from Brian Singer. He didn't have, he didn't try to have sex with me though. So, um, here's the, my last story I'm going to tell you guys is I remember I was selling all this anime stuff and I was wearing, um, um, the, the, um, I forgot the, the Japanese traditional merchant stuff. And I remember Harley and Harley Quinn and Joker came up to me and their Joker was kind of looking at all the anime, um, cosplayers, of course. And I was like, we were getting people to take photos with the yaoi pad uh, uh, sticks, the yaoi pad spanking sticks. And I was like, hey, Joker, I looked at him, I'm like, I know you're more accustomed to a crowbar, but uh, you, could you guys take a picture with this yaoi paddle? And he was like, <laughs> and he was like, I can, let me see if I can do the voice. He's like, let's, he's like, he was like, what's this for? And uh, I've never seen this before. What, what is it? And Harley came in and he's like, I know what it's for, pudding. <laughs> and I just fucking lost it. And I, I wish I still had that photo for you guys because Joker bent over and he was just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Harley was like, yeah. Oh, that was a good Comic Con memory. I, oh, that was great. It was, but anyways, after that, I quit my job, moved to Japan. Um, Actually, I was a delivery boy for a while in America, and then I moved to Japan, um, and here I am now. Look at me now, Mom! Woo! Five years in Japan, and I can't speak shit! Well, at least I'm not a weeaboo. Alright, I've run out of patience. On the roof! <laughs> hey, everyone.
everyone. Ha, ha, ha.